I love it. I love being outdoors. Mm -hmm. I love being in the woods, especially with hunting. Like, just being out there, it, it, it's so much more than like being out there to hunt. Like, I, I love hunting, but being mm -hmm. out there, it, it's just, I don't know. A day can be going bad, and I can just be in the woods. I don't even have to see a deer. I don't even have to oh, shoot okay. one. Just being out there is like, it's a huge weight off my shoulders. I, I do. I just love it. I feel more connected to nature when I'm in the woods hunting or fishing, like, than, than any other time. I really like it. <laughs> I'm outside a lot. Uh, I like to go hiking, bird watching. Um, I just like to see what's out there. Yeah, I, I love being outside. Um, I would say nature, mostly just like being outside, spending time. I wouldn't really say interact much with animals in any way. Definitely just like going for walks or something. Nice to just get outside, get a break from like studying. Mm -hmm. But I see it as just a chance to like get away from my work or a time to just like relax, go outside, spend some time, hang out with friends. Um, I feel like I try to give back or like, I don't know, I think, I think a way of giving back to nature is just like, um, you know, Never. for the most part, like leaving it as you found it, uh, trying to leave it like as wild as you can. That's like mm -hmm. not, li not littering or like, I don't know, just trying to, I mean, obviously if you're going in hunting, hunting, you're like going in with the intention of, you know, like harvesting an animal. Mm -hmm. Um, so in that way you're taking, but I think, um, just by like appreciating nature, um, and like also like giving others and getting others involved and like showing others like how to respect nature mm. um mm. like i think that's a way of giving back and like it's i don't know it's like a community um so when you get when you get a lot of different people that respect nature and like that are able to appreciate it and um try to preserve it i think that's a way to, to give back and kind of like preserve mm -hmm. like our wild places as a whole i guess Ooh. <laughs> um I think it kind of depends. Um, I definitely feel like I take more than I give. Like, I'm not, I'm not the perfect picture of like, um, of an environmentalist in terms of like, I don't really take very short showers. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. Or like, I love to drive around. So like there's a bunch of gas that goes into the air like mm -hmm. <laughs> burning the ozone layer probably a lot <laughs> carbon footprint may be a big problem for me um so i definitely feel like maybe in some ways i'm harming it more than i'm helping it but i want to get more towards the um like, I, I want to I wanna reverse that. I want to help it more than I harm it. <laughs> like, we use nature kind of like when we use like, you know, plants mm -hmm. for extraction, right. or maybe um, using plants to synthesize medicine and stuff. We're kind of taking that from nature, but but we're using that, we're trying to utilize it for the, as the, for the best use rather than taking it and destroying it without any purpose. So as Taraka in class, like for green chemistry, I feel like for her is to, synthesize materials with less negative impact to the environment with high percent yield of making stuff. Mm -hmm. So that's particularly the green chemistry is for me. I think we're taking from nature, but we're putting it into good use for the greater of, you know, greater for the, for ourselves, such as like, you know, using plants to make medicine that can be used to cure disease, cancers or disease or some diseases that we cannot even find a cure. And so that's my thinking is that we're taking nature, but we're using, we're putting it to good use. Hmm. I, mean, I definitely, with being a Christian, like, uh, I definitely think that, you know, God has definitely gifted us with a beautiful earth and so I want to do everything I can to kind of keep that earth clean you know with cleaning up like I talked a little bit about before um, I definitely think that 
um, part of God's plan for us was to be able to provide us with animals and, and fish to be able to um, consume. Like that's that's kind of how we started out as a um, kind of as a people group, um, you know, hunters and gatherers. That was kind of the way to go in the beginning. And so um, I definitely think that it's it's given it's it's um, there for us to partake in. But um, it's definitely a gift from God. And it's not something that it's that I take for granted um, when it, when it comes to hunting or fishing. That's a, that's a loaded question. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, I believe it's from God. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't think it's for me to do whatever I want with it. Um, yeah, I'm a more, I have a theology of um, creation care mm-hmm. rather than domination. Um, so, yeah, mm-hmm. that's where I'm coming from. Um, I have to feel it's a gift from God. I mean, all creation is. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't think it's something to worship because it is a gift. We don't worship the gifts. But it's definitely something to um, not take for granted. Mm-hmm. I definitely, I know that all lives have their um, their purpose, and um, each each animal out there has its own life. It's a sentient being, um, so I I definitely don't take my my activities as solely a sport i i have a deeper feeling around each animal that i kill i'm so grateful for Mm. for their life and for what they do at the same time there has to be um there has to be measurements taken so that certain populations don't increase too much and um just like the balance between everything is definitely um definitely important to look at but there is a lo- um, every animal has a life and like that's definitely something that I appreciate when I go out into the woods I'm not out there just I don't feel like I have the the power to do whatever I want and it's it's definitely like after every every har- harvest it's definitely a, a deep feeling of gratitude for each of their lives um yeah i guess i don't analyze it too deeply like planting um you know planting seeds i do so i do some i know i'm not in the hunter category i do some fishing and i'll I'll sometimes Mm -hmm. um i'll sometimes take fish i'll i'll keep the fish i i catch and and eat them and that's Mm -hmm. um i feel you know i feel that on a little bit of a deeper level of of this this Mm -hmm. organism is is you know giving up its life to feed me uh, that like that's i don't know i i don't i feel very different about animals especially <laughs> especially animals that bear morphological resemblance to me um hmm. I, I think a lot different about them than i do about plants and i mean i don't really conceive of plants as conscious either so hmm. um you know when i when i when i plant something i'm not I, I'm, I'm more thinking of it as like Yes, I'm, I'm growing something to um, produce food for myself, and that's kind of the way it works. I mean, it's it's amazing, and I I think sometimes I do gloss over how amazing that is, but no, I don't really think of it as, as like, nurturing another being. I think more of, of kind of, like, as a, you know, just kind of the way the world works um, and and kind of utilizing, utilizing that. I see it more scientifically. I think that's just from my background, kind of as a science major, and especially like pre-med in a lot of the classes I take to kind of try to make me focus more on things objectively. So I think Mm -hmm. I see it more. It's just something that has like resources and we use those resources. But I also think there's like, um, it's very important to also see it as like living because you know, everything Mm -hmm. out there is living. It's biological. Um, Mm -hmm. I would say. And that's another thing where like that personal one-on-one relationship how everything you know works together you know you heart you take a life you harvest it Mm -hmm. but that kind of happens naturally also and how how it just Mm -hmm. i don't know you you learn how things how things play together you know and even if an animal you know dies on its own or from a hunter that didn't find it because it it wasn't a good shot you know Mm -hmm. or uh you clean the animal out in the woods and how many other animals 
sustain like can use that resource of, of just a gut pile or right. useless remains to us hmm. you know birds coyotes foxes raccoons possums i mean they mm -hmm. I, they benefit a ton right. from just that one one instance mm -hmm. but two like more connected to birds yeah um yeah i mean yeah i think well i've, I've been bird watching for gosh right. five or six years now um and kind of knowing no know, like knowing i mean knowing their names knowing right. when they like knowing what they eat knowing when they come and go and i have still have so much to learn but but as as far as like just kind of being familiar with um with what their what their life life history and life patterns are in my own area i think i think definitely it, it's kind of like um you know the difference between you know a, a friend and an acquaintance as far as just knowing more more um just kind of having uh, a better idea of of what motivates them and what's going on i i mean that sounds sound like anthropomorphizing them a little bit too much but but like um but yeah i i think yeah knowing their knowing what they're doing i definitely do feel a little bit more of a connection just just through through knowledge and i i mean i i, I definitely do i mean i i have gone out and just looked for plants kind of like i go out and just look for birds um and, I, and that's fun um mm -hmm. but but birds definitely excite me more Maybe a little. I mean, uh, I don't really do, I guess, a lot with nature in terms of outside of like, um, like hiking, hiking and you know camping and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So I mean, sort of, but not completely. So like, would you say those things, like you know, help you have a better relationship with like the earth, or? I'd say they help me, give me a better appreciation for mm -hmm. what nature offers. I would say. I would mm -hmm. say. I definitely do. Absolutely. Oh, heck yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, I think I think everyone does. Um, yeah, I definitely think it is taken for granted. I believe so. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I think a lot of people do. And I think a lot of the reason also is just because they don't understand it or they don't like have the, like, they maybe like haven't really experienced it like some people have 